I'm on break at work, so I have to be quiet. Hey guys, just making a really quick behind the scenes video to let you know what goes into making some of these images that I do. So the quickest way to show you guys the thought process of what I was going through is just to take a video of my screen here while I'm messing around with it. But um, I came and I saw this uh, this bridge, the oldest bridge in South Carolina, and I knew I just had to shoot with it with the uh, this arch here. It was just kind of unlike anything else. And when I was looking at it, I just um, I imagined a um, that falling angel right here in the middle, just uh, floating, you know, levitation style photography with just fire all over the place, fire shooting out. So that night when we went there, um, I knew I had to get like a base image of the bridge here. So we set up the tripod, and um, as you can see, we uh, we take a couple shots of the bridge here. We illuminate it with a, a flash, and you can see where I had my flash. This is a long exposure. I had the flash, and it was a uh, it made these high, uh, these burn marks, these highlight marks here, which I had to get rid of later. But um, I shot the same image on the other side, um, getting the flash there so I could get the lighting from both sides. Then I got one of my assistants to go and put a ladder out there so we could do the levitation photography, which, by the way, is super hard to find a good steady spot in the middle of a stream uh, where you'd actually feel safe going up this ladder. And of course I tried it out before I let the model up there and it was pretty sturdy so uh, we decided to, to leave the ladder there. Keep in mind it is dark and it's freezing so the um, model is over there next to the heater. It, well you can't see her in this picture. She's uh, next to the heater uh, staying warm while um, my assistant's here. I got one, one to get up there on the uh, the ladder, another to hold my, um, my flash there and and it's a remote flash, so I could pop it from the um, from the tripod here where my camera is. But um, we're just working on getting the exposure right on uh, on Scotty right there, our lovely assistant. When we were sure that we got the exposure right, we went ahead and um, stuck the. And of course, remember that uh, it doesn't look the same as it does on the laptop screen. What you guys are seeing, it looks a little overexposed right here. But um, as soon as we were sure that we got the exposure right, we went ahead and um, got the model up there. Um, made sure she was comfortable and um, and took several shots here. Um, that one's actually a different model. That's uh, Sarah. She's a f photographer as well. You can see me kind of like uh, over there in the, the corner. I'm like waving around my reflector to, uh, to get her hair to blow up. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. See the effect it does on the hair? And now for the fun part. Um, so now that all the models are safely moved out of the way, we worked on um, doing several different fire effects um, that I would later pull into Photoshop to add to this picture here. Here's a really cool one. And this one was spinning um, steel wool, and it shoots off a bunch of little sparks and stuff like that. And it's all we of course had a uh, a fire extinguisher nearby just in case. Uh, anything caught on fire but we we're being very safe of course it made a really cool effect when we did it inside the uh, inside the loop and no this does not harm the bridge in any way then I went on top of the bridge here with um, with the same steel wool and I banged it against the uh, the I had it on a stick and I banged, banged it against the top of the uh, the bridge there to make it look like a uh, fire rain I did it on the middle left and um, and the right side there. And now for the hard part. Once we found a good uh, base photo for us to use, I went ahead and uh, let's see here. We added some some more fire there. We're basically taking all those separate pictures that we took and and adding them in to make one big photo here. Those wings right there that you see, those are from a photo shoot that I did actually to practice for this one. And the wings turned out to be pretty cool, so we went ahead and used those. Then we bring the model in that we cut out of the other picture. More fire. More fire. Brighten it up a little bit. And then in the end, 
there's a bunch of like tiny little effects that you can't really see, but um, sometimes I'm, I'm getting in here and I'm taking out little distracted, distracting things and trying to make it all even. Blending this is super hard. Um, it may look easy when I'm just clicking the buttons here, but this is actually hours and hours and hours of work. Like, probably overall five or six hours in Photoshop. Just taking forever just to get everything just the way I wanted it. Like, um, let's just take this for an example. If you can see right here, this is before. And I mean, like, I add small details like that, like a little tiny shadow there to make, you know, because the fire is behind her, you would think that there would be a shadow there. So, small, tiny details like that that most people would never really even see uh, just takes forever. Yeah, we cropped it in a little bit to to cut out all that uh, junk from up there. That would have taken way, way longer to edit out. So, uh, we kept it here. It looks like fire, rain. And um, so, all of these effects are real. You know, they weren't brought in from some place. I didn't Google some images or anything like that and bring in some effects. I made all these effects myself and it took forever and a lot, a lot of work. So just let me know what you guys thought about that video. Does it take away from the image now that you know how it was made or does it add to the image knowing how much work it went into it? Um, I'm just kind of pulling my feelers out there to see what you guys uh, enjoy. Extra big shout out to everybody that helped me out with this shoot. Um, Ivy Taylor with the makeup, Kyoko and Stair Styles for uh, modeling for me, um, Adil, Troy, Matt, Yana, Scotty, and Alex for um, being my assistants there. This shoot was not easy. It was miserable. It was cold. There was a ton of stuff to be carried around and a lot of moving parts, and uh, they all really came through and helped me out. So. Thank you guys so much, and I'll, I'll include a link in the description for, um, for all other pages.